enjoy. All right, here's Paul with a look ahead to our weekend forecast as well. Yeah, if you can't enjoy uh, this evening out there, tomorrow is looking fantastic once again. But if you are heading out this evening, uh, temperatures uh, mild in the 70s across most of the region. And uh, the good news, Doppler radar, it's quiet for us tonight. And it's going to stay that way most of the night. Uh, a few puffy clouds out there right now. Those should move on out as the sun sets this evening. I am watching off to the north, though. A little weak disturbance that will try to slide back through here later tonight will bring a small chance for some clouds and a very small chance for a sprinkle or a light shower. I'm expecting the best chance of that to be well to the northeast of Youngstown, so Mercer County having the best risk of that tonight. But I'm turning my attention out to the west because here's the problem as we go into Sunday. This disturbance will work its way across Canada tonight uh, into the northern plains tomorrow and then sweep through here on Sunday. And that's going to bring the risk of some showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong later on Sunday. So this evening, quiet weather, just great weather expected on through your Friday evening into tonight. Here comes some of those clouds and you'll notice they're a little thicker off to our northeast where that better chance of a sprinkle or a shower is. And even if one of those get going, we are so dry down close to the ground that a lot of that would evaporate uh, before it hits the ground. Tomorrow morning, the temperature's dipping toward 50 degrees, and you can expect a lot of sunshine for your Saturday. Yes, we'll have a few passing clouds, but temperatures uh, pushing toward 70 by noon and right into the mid to upper 70s. Tomorrow afternoon, good weather right on into tomorrow evening and on into tomorrow night. But by Sunday morning, that's when the chance of a shower or a thunderstorm starts to form. Now, the Youngstown Marathon uh, getting underway early. Early Sunday morning. It's going to be humid. Temperatures will be in the 60s here to get things going. And I can't completely dismiss an isolated shower or a thunderstorm in the morning, but a better chance as we get into a late morning midday, maybe as the race is wrapping up here, uh, as we go into the afternoon, that chance will increase and oh, the threat of severe weather will increase too here as we go on into Sunday afternoon, right on into Sunday evening. So going to keep a close eye on this storm system, uh, but it's uh, going to uh, impact the area on Sunday rather than Saturday and the entire region under a marginal risk. That's that green color here of severe weather uh, for your Sunday. That means an isolated uh, severe thunderstorm is possible. Tonight, 50 degrees, mostly clear skies, just plain old good weather. Going to leave that isolated threat of a sprinkle or a shower in there. Uh, that's why I have that 20% up there overnight. That's mainly Mercer County and off to the northeast. Tomorrow, 77. Good looking Saturday on the way. Mostly sunny skies. And well, tomorrow night and Sunday, that's when we start to change things around for us. And that risk of showers and storms moving in, especially Sunday afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. It's going to be humid. On Sunday, right into Sunday evening, that risk of showers and storms sticking around into early Monday. And then we take a cool down next week. 62, your high temperature on Tuesday, mid 60s on Wednesday. And I'm leaving a small chance for an isolated shower in next week. It looks like after we get through the first part of the week, it's uh, much drier and just a little cooler as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Well, I know this time of year is when there's a lot of festivals. There's one in Pittsburgh, the African American. Um, Definitely tonight and tomorrow, your best bets. Oh, to I, I don't know get if you can ask those. for better weather yeah, for uh, this evening and tomorrow for any outdoor activities, that's for sure. Love fair.